The League and Parliamentary Affairs Committee has completed this report on the Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2009. The committee sat in the camera due to the sensitivity of the matter that has put the country at crossroads with development partners opposed to its passing. No, we have finalized, as they told you. We have finalized the, our report. What is left is to take it to Parliament. But uh, as you are aware, the rules do not permit me to discuss the contents. However, sources in the same committee but who prefer to remain anonymous because they are not allowed to divide the content of the report before it gets on the floor Parliament told the NTV that the MPs on the committee have maintained the tough penalty of life imprisonment to the offence of aggravated homosexuality. One of the Bahat brought his, his private member's bill. They are a house around him to bring this bill. For us as a committee, our responsibility is actually to ensure that it gets out of the house, of the committee and the house, in whatever form it gets out. The rules provide that we cannot hold a, 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 a bill for a specified amount of time, and we have exceeded this time. Um, so, the Speaker has requested us that, you know, we should get this work done, get it out of, of the committee and the Parliament in conformity uh, with what the rules of procedure of Parliament provide. Some committee members, however, insist that they will not bow to the pressure from development partners who are opposed to the passing of the bill. Some have uh, come out clearly and said they will press sanctions, they will press embargoes on the country, but uh, we stand with our traditional norms and cultural beliefs. I'm a Muganda per se, and I cannot be swayed on this issue. I'm a Catholic by affiliate. I will not shudder in regard to what I stand for. I will not stand for unnatural offenses. The bill appeared on the order paper today and is thus expected to come up for debate in Parliament next week. Human rights activists have since opposed the bill, claiming it infringes on the basic human rights of the transgender community in Uganda. In my opinion, the Parliament is very wrong and the Constitutional Court will not agree with them. Parliament is not final. We are ruled by the Constitution. Uh, the Constitution um, uh, will not allow uh, the majority to, to oppress the minority. Adults who want to do whatever they want to do behind their, behind their bedrooms should be free to do what they want. How are you going to police adults who are behind their bedrooms? Recently, the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, said she would offer the passing of the bill to Ugandans as a Christmas gift. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.